I'm gonna make about three of these things. I just cook way too much of the inside part because I like it. I like what's left over like a soup, and it's just so good as a soup. You wouldn't believe. If you start eating as a soup, you might not want to put it in a pie crust. But the pie crust is very good. What I do is let's take a, a pie bowl. It's a bowl, it's ceramic. I can put it in the oven. I can microwave this bowl. I can cook with it. And um, I'll, I'm going to put my pie crust in there. What I do first, I don't want my pie crust to stick. I take a little butter and I put it in my bowl and just kind of grease the bowl so my pie crust will not stick. Now, you probably don't have to do this. It's not supposed to stick. But I just want to guarantee my pie crust is not going to stick. And the pie crust is the easiest thing in the world. But boom, pie crust, Pillsbury, um, is ready to go. <laughs> All you have to do is unroll it and use it. I'm not about making pie crust. I tried to use biscuits one time for the top of my, my pot pie. I used biscuit on top. And the biscuit soaked up all my juice, and my pot pie was dry, and I was not happy. Well, I found out that if I use the Pillsbury dough ready to go, it's already moist and good, and it doesn't soak up all my liquid, and so my pot pie is sitting nice and moist, and that's what we want. We want a nice moist pot pie. Now, if you want to serve some biscuits on the side, you could dip them in there. You could, because this thing's almost like a soup in a bowl with crust around it. It's pot pie. All right, see, I just unroll this thing. It comes ready to go, ba boom. All you have to do is unroll it, and I'll cut it and make it fit in my bowl. And I put the cuttings on the inside because nobody's going to see it, right? And then on top, I'll put a nice round, all one piece on top of the pie. That's how big I am, so I know. And then I can just take a knife and cut that out. Okay, I will show you how I do this up close and personal. I just make my bowl indentation in my dough and then I just come back with a knife and just cut out that line so that this will be my top. That will look nice and pretty. And nobody will know that underneath is not. So that will fit around top of my bowl. That's fine. So we set it aside. Another one over here as best we can. As big as we can. That's, uh, now what I'll do is, so I'll take this, right, and then what I just cut out, I'll put it right down in the bottom there, right, and then I can take these leftovers here and just stick them around the side to make my sides. I probably got enough dough, I didn't have to do that. But you know, you know how many you want to make, you piece it together the best you can. Like I said, this is going to be on the inside. Nobody's going to see this, so it's just important that it has dough all around it. So people are digging down in there, eating their pie filling, and then they'll get crust down in the bottom. And I'm going to set that aside with the lid to it, and then I'm going to do this two more times. All right, had enough dough out of those two packages to make three 
regular size bowls, you me a regular size bowl anyway. I don't know. My bowl's probably about three cups. This is probably about a cup and a half bowl piece. So I get two little snacks. I can set aside and have when I want. Uh, along with my pot pie for dinner. So that's very cool. Very, very cool. All right. Now I'm ready to check my filling. See if my pie filling is ready. If it's ready, we're going to pour it in these bad boys, put our lids on them, poke some holes in the lids, and put it in. Took the lid off it. I let it, some of my liquid evaporate out so I got it as thick as I wanted. I busted up a few potatoes in there. And see, my sauce is nice and thick now. That's what you want when you put it inside your, your pie. You want it to look like it's a pot pie filling. No, you want it to be a little thinner than that because it's going to thicken up as we cook it in the pie. But that's what we want right there. Our sauce is ready to go. Now I'm going to let it cool off just a little bit and I'll show you how we're going to put it into our pie crust. Pie, pie crust ready to go. Let's take my pie mixture and just spoon it in here to each one of these things. Want them all to be full. Don't want nobody to be lacking. And then we'll put the lids on them. And they'll be very pretty. They will be a thing of beauty. They will taste good. They will taste like fried chicken, carrots, and celery, onions, and garlic. I mean, just the flavor. You wouldn't believe. Oh. And like I said, if you want, you can just eat this as a soup. And this is just some good stuff here. We put it into our pies, though, like that. And then we're going to put a lid on it. And then we're going to put them in the oven. For about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, we're going to check them at about 30 minutes and see how they're doing. We want them to get brown. I won't put too much. Put too much in my. It's going to boil out on us in the oven. We don't want that. I, I, you see, I have everything on a cookie sheet. So I want the cookie sheet in case it does boil out and spill over to catch it instead of going into the oven. So just put your. Uh, put everything on into a cookie sheet like that. So if it does spill over, that it won't. Ruin your oven too much, make everybody mad at you. I took my pie crust and I put them over there beside, and I just set them on top. Put them on top like that. Oops. Put it on top. Papaya. And papaya. Now I'm going to mash the the sides a little bit to kind of make them as one, give it a little pie crust look to it. You know how it is. Just take a fork and just stab yourself four or five places that's going to vent for us as it cooks on top like that. Okay, and then put it in the oven, 425 for about 30 to 45 minutes. And voila, we are done. And oh man, we looking good. Man, that's what you, what you call a pot pie. And if you do this, you do this recipe, you would not believe how wonderful and delicious these things are with the onions, the garlic, the chicken stock. Mmm, man, I just can't wait to eat it. It smells wonderful. I hope it looks wonderful. Need to let it cool off a little bit, but to show you the juicy numminess inside this thing, look at that. Oh man, it's just juicy. I have to take a bite of that. It's hot. Hot. Mmm, hot. Oh, good. Oh, mmm. Very good. Mmm, very tight. Mmm, very good. This has been Cooking with Dave once again. Uh, cooking fried chicken pot pies. Hope you all enjoy it. Hope y'all actually cook this because I'm telling you, it is delicious and it's not that hard to do. And like I said, it's like cooking soup when you pour it as a pie crust. Alright, remember, I am the world's greatest chef. This says so right here on my apron. Y'all have a great day.